Array, hello, everybody. Welcome to the 23rd Annual Accessibility Internet Rally. My name is Mariela Paulino, and I, along with Jessica, or as we lovingly call her, Jay, will be your host for this evening. I am a Hispanic woman of Dominican descent. I am wearing um, braids in my hair. In, and I am also wearing the famous Nobility Vintage t-shirt, okay? And the shirt says, I am a blank um, and accessibility is my responsibility. So you will be seeing this really good picture of Meryl. Later on, we're going to have some door prizes that Erica is going to be talking about in just one moment. My background is a baby blue background. There is a rocket ship um, on the upper left corner. Um, that rocket ship is cream with wings that are red and underneath it, it has like a little trail of fire. And there is a cloud underneath it that says hashtag AI 2021, which is going to be our hashtag for the day. There are some clouds um, at the bottom of the image. And um, I'm going to pass it along to Jay so that she can describe herself and then we'll get started. All right. Hi, everybody. I am Jay McKay. Uh, so I am Caucasian. Um, I'm going to say I'm in early 40s age. Uh, I currently have a very short haircut. Um, it's it's not quite shaved down, but almost there. Uh, I have black glasses on and I'm wearing big, huge gamer headphones and a microphone, but I had to kind of go with the, the purple nobility uh, as best I could. So I have a purple top on, but I was feeling festive. So I put on my, my sparkly rhinestone choker. So I'm ready. Right. And also right. my background is the same that uh, Mariella was describing. Yes. So let's go ahead and describe the presentation that we'll be sharing with you. So it is on a white background. There are some clouds um, at the very bottom. There are some purple clouds, some um, white clouds, and some baby blue clouds. They are spread out um, at the two opposite bottom ends of the image. We still have that rocket ship theme going because we are going to kick off. And on the right hand bottom corner, there is the hashtag air 2021 hashtag, which you will be seeing displayed throughout the time we have together today. Now, before we get this party started, and to get us in the frame of mind, we are going to do a little kickoff. So in the image that we are going to show you, we are going to do a space launch cut down. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, Jay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Please put Mariella and I, I in charge of NASA. <laughs> I love this energy, Jay. I love this energy. I need it. I need it. All right. So, yeah. So, we are at the kickoff. Welcome to the 23rd Annual Accessibility Internet Rally. Before we do anything, we want to take some time to give a shout out and a huge Thank you to the sponsors that made today's event possible. We have the Cultural Arts City of Austin Economic Development. We have Visa. We have the Big History Project, Rev, Adobe, Sandas, and Monkey Boy as today's sponsors. We also want to put a call to action out there. If you are an organization or if you are in a position to provide sponsorship so we can continue putting events like this out. Go ahead and reach out to Cheryl um, Pearson at Cheryl at nobility.org. She is the person that's managing sponsorships for this conference um, and she will be the person to reach out to. Let's go now over the agenda and the things that we're going to be going over today. So we are going to do a quick welcome, which we already kind of just did. I encourage all of you grab your favorite snack and your favorite drink so that we can get this party started. Um, next, we are going to go over a quick overview of Nobility. 
then have a message from our executive director, Sharon Rush. Then an overview of what the Accessibility Internet Rally is, followed by a message from Sally and Sumner, who are two past air participants who are now joining us again this year. I had the tremendous honor of interviewing both of them, right, as we were creating content for air and their, the conversations we had just blew me away. The passion and the impact and the why of why air is so important really struck um, out to me and really made me excited about the event we're hosting today. So I'm really excited to hear from them one more time and I hope you are too. Then we have a little um, note that we are going to leave for our volunteers, the people that have made this event possible. Then all of you will get to meet the competition, listen um, and hear and learn from the nonprofits that are participating in this year's air. I mean, the lineup is just so incredible. We are so thrilled that there are so many organizations committed to creating a more accessible world. And they are all here today, ready to work with all of you to create an accessible web for everyone. Then we will close up with some final thoughts and all of you will be moved to breakout rooms where you will get to meet with your teams. We also have a program link which we will share with you in the chat in just one moment. That program link will include information. Jay, what does the program link include? And so, go for it. Sure. So, um, because we have so many volunteers and so many team members, uh, we didn't want to take up too much time having to read every single name that's going to be displayed on the screen, but we wanted to make sure that people had access to that information. So we did create a digital program uh, and we put that link in the chat and it is uh, nobility.org slash programs slash air slash air hyphen kickoff hyphen uh, digital hyphen program. So it is in the chat. Uh, and if you have any issues accessing it, just let us know and, and we'll make sure you can get to that content. Thank you, Jay. So next, before we get this party started, we need to be able to set some ground rules. Um, because it is it's not just about creating the space, anybody can put an event today. And so we want to be intentional in the type of space that we are creating for all of us. So we want to create an accessible and welcoming space. So what does that mean? This means that this competition is centered around the mission of making an inclusive internet. And that really starts with the way that we treat each other and the commitment we all make for creating an accessible and inclusive space. One of the things that we are going ourselves um, to a standard is going to be to describe the visual elements that you are referencing. So when you meet with your teams, make sure that if there's an element that you're referencing, you either describe what it is, describe what it looks like. We are going to try to do that throughout the presentation that we have today. Also, make sure that you check that the captionists are working for you. We want to give a huge shout out to Texas Captioning and our incredible transcriber who is typing down everything that is being said so that we can create an accessible and inclusive environment for everyone. Finally, be kind, courteous, and respectful. Um, and with that, we are now going into the introduction. So I am going to ask everyone, drop your information in the chat. So your chat should be open on your right hand corner. If it is not at the very bottom of your screen, there is a button. The second button um, from the center, it says chat. So click on that so that you can join the chat. What we want you to do is in the chat, say, my name is Mariela, um, or whatever your name is. I'm assuming that not all of us are called Mariela, but my name is Mariela. You pronounce it Mariela. I am in New York City. You may hear the occasional siren or fire truck or ambulance. You're getting the full New York City experience, baby. And my pronouns are she, and her. So make sure that you fill that information in the chat if you feel comfortable. My name is 
you pronounce it this way, I'm in blank and my pronouns are blank. Next, we encourage all of you to go on social media and use the hashtag air 2021. This is where the party's at today. We are going to be looking uh, specifically on Twitter on, and on LinkedIn. So make sure that if there's something that happens in the course of the day today, you want to take a shot um, on your phone and then share it on LinkedIn, make sure that you tag us. We're going to be looking closely at social media and we may even repost it later today or tomorrow. Next. We have door prices. So, Miss Erica, are you ready to come up on the stage? I am ready. Um, my name is Erica. I've met some of you before, but I have not met everyone yet. So, I'm very excited to meet everyone. Um, I am a Caucasian woman in my 30s. I have brown hair. I'm wearing glasses, and I'm wearing a green and yellow cocktail dress with koala bears on it. Um, and before I get to the door prizes, I do want to let you know we're going to be using a spinning wheel to select the names. It does move, so if you prefer not to um, have spinning or moving objects on your screen, um, that will be coming up shortly, so please take the time if you need to remove that from your field of vision. I also want to give a shout out to our wonderful model, Meryl Evans, has modeled the purple nobility shirt and to describe the shirt a little bit it's the same one that mariella is wearing it says i am a has a blank space you can take a sharpie and write your role or field or who you are followed by accessibility and accessibility is my responsibility so you can um, define how you approach accessibility and what it means to you on the shirt um, and without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share our wheel of names, which is what it actually is called. And um, it is supposed to make a sound, but I can't get the sound to work. So if you have a sound you like to make for like a drum roll effect or anything like that, now is the time. It's a multicolored wheel with everyone's name on it. I'm gonna click it, it's gonna start moving. And spinning around and Sharon's making a sound effect, but I think she's on mute. Our winner is it stopped Amy Siegel. Congratulations, Amy. Is Amy here with us today? I'm not sure. But Amy, yeah, you want to teach? Excellent, Amy, congratulations. So I'm going to be in touch via email. You get the choice of a nobility shirt. Um, or we have another option coming up, which I won't tell you what it is just yet because I want it to be a surprise, but you get a choice between two items um, and you'll know what those items are by the end of our kickoff. And so when I'm in touch with you, you can tell me what you'd like to have. All right, back to you, Mariella. Thank you, Erica. I'm really excited for the other door prize we have coming up. What could it be? Do we have any guesses for what the second door prize is going to be? If you think you have a clue for what the second door prize is going to be, I I'll recommend you go ahead and comment in the chat for what that will be, and then you'll find out. But anyway, let's get back to this party. So nobility, what is nobility? So I want to assume that most of you have heard about nobility or know about nobility, but we have some new members like me who have never participated in air before and are not really that familiar with what nobility is. Well, I kind of am really familiar with nobility now, but that's because I work here and it takes most of my waking hours, um, which is incredible. Just the things we're doing, but what is nobility? So nobility is a nonprofit that provides audits consulting, training, and workshops in web accessibility to tech professionals and their allies. Um, the organization grew from a community building event called the Accessibility Internet Rally. 
today, see that, um, 23 years ago. And since then we have expanded and we have created other events and other programs and other workshops that we encourage all of you to participate in. I encourage all of you to sign up for the newsletter at bit.ly slash nobility news. We'll be sharing um, the nobility newsletter in just one moment, but I encourage you to sign up so that you can stay in the know on all the incredible things that nobility is doing and all the different ways you can get involved with this incredible community. And with that said, I am now going to pass it along to our fearless leader, Sharon Rush, come up on the stage. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to have a little sip of my Jamaican rum right now while we wait for Sharon. Cheers. All right. All right. Sharon, oh, if you can. Is. Sharon needed a refill, so she had to leave and come back in. Uh, <laughs> are you are you ready for for words of encouragement and wisdom, Sharon? Uh, sorry, I was kicked off. Oh, I was kicked no. off. Hey, would you guys do me a favor? Would you What's never that? use that picture again? <laughs> Ever? Will you promise you me you will that. never use that picture again? I promise you will never use that picture again. Great, because my description is I'm much better looking than that. Okay. Um, so this, this, um, this picture and my face uh, belong to, uh, um, well, gosh, everybody's been saying their age. I'll just say I'm a boomer age uh, there you go. woman. Um, white hair, white skin, uh, but not a white soul, I promise. And um, I'm wearing red dangly earrings, a, a jacket where I'm just a little bit kind of dressed up tonight because I'm pretty good to be here. And I don't know what you said in the introduction because I was trying to get back in. Um, but I, my plan was to thank all the sponsors, but you already did that. So um, so instead, I'll thank you. I'll thank you, Mariella. Thank you, Jessica. Man, you had just jumped in here and have done such a fantastic job. And um, especially, I want to thank every one of you who's attending because you've, you have joined one of, in my opinion, of course, one of the most, um, I, I just think the whole idea of digital accessibility is often presented as this scary thing that if you don't do it right, you're gonna get in big trouble and your lawyers are gonna come descending on you. And it's just yucky. I mean, who wants to do stuff for that reason? I don't think, I don't think that's much of a, uh, it's just not much of a creative force when you're, you're, you do the web and people get on the web because they wanna share, they wanna, they wanna, connect to each other. And so I just think that whole approach to accessibility is really crummy. But air comes at it from this place of joyful, exuberant creativity and connection and says, I know you guys want to connect to more and more people. I know you want to think about inclusion as you're doing design. I know you want to be more creative. And through the years, what we found is that as people think about accessibility and incorporate it into their design thinking, they come up with better solutions for absolutely everyone. And so I'm just so excited every year when it gets around to air season. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you for being here. And I just say, let the race to accessibility begin for 2021. Thanks. All right, thank you, Miss Sharon. Um, always, always inspiring to, to have you kind of rev up the audience and I'm loving the chat. Thank you, everyone. This is so much fun to, to hang out with you all. Um, so like Maria said, you know, some of us are new to this uh, wonderful nobility family, myself included. Um, but let me tell you, uh, 
I just was absolutely thrilled when I had a chance to uh, start working for Nobility and when Sharon was kind of telling me the backstory and the history of AIR because AIR happened before Nobility. AIR is kind of where it all began. Um, what started as a one day hackathon, uh, you know, in 1998, people coming together, trying to make the, the world a little bit more accessible through the internet to something that is now a worldwide global event. We have, I, I think we were just missing like two continents maybe, if I look at a map. Uh, so, you know, it's just really inspiring to have that and have you all here today. So for those that are not familiar with what's going on tonight, um, the Accessibility Internet Rally is an opportunity for web development teams to learn about accessibility, um, apply those creative solutions, but also from a real world experience. And they do that by being partnered with an MPO, a community group, an artist, somebody who needs to reach more people. And they want to do that uh, by having an accessible presence on the internet. So we pair them up, we give them training. Uh, they are mentored by accessibility experts in the field. There will then be judging after their, their sites are complete. Um, and of course, we always want to celebrate throughout uh, this competition season. So we'll have some other events that we'll talk about um, that are going to be coming up before our AIR, event, uh, AIR awards, of course. But that's really kind of the heart of AIR is it's a group of people that know that we can connect with more people by making the world accessible through creative solutions. And we wanted to give an opportunity for those people to come together. So to keep this party rolling, we have a wonderful, wonderful video from Sally and Sumner. Uh, they are past participants of AIR. Uh, they started their journey with us uh, previous years and they loved it so much and that became such a big passion for them that they have stuck around um, and have changed roles and continued their journey. So we're going to hear a quick word from them. Hi, and welcome to Nobility Accessibility Internet Rally 2021. My name is Sumner Davenport. My pronouns are she and her. I am somewhat of an adult, well-lived for my age, and I have fair skin, blue eyes, and red hair. And today I'm wearing my purple glasses so that I can see the internet. And I'm wearing a purple shirt and I have a purple background in honor of nobility. So I'm here today with my good friend, Sally Thune. Hi, I'm Sally and I am a female. My pronouns are she and hers. I have salt and pepper hair and I'm wearing an orange shirt, which actually goes pretty nice with the purple background, which is the same as Sumner's. And I have black glasses. And I am so excited to be here at Air Rally 2021 as a co-mentor with my mentor, Sumner Davenport. I'm excited that we're going to co-mentor this year for the Air Rally. <clears throat> Last year, we both participated and it was a great time. We both had fun, we both learned something and Sally has a little extra announcement when she gets to talk again. But my team created their own mascot and we had a special name. We were the Accessipoo Air Squad. And that's because we worked on a WordPress site and WordPress has its own little mascot called a Wapu. And we wanted a mascot that was accessible. So we created an accessible Wapu. Therefore it was Accessipoo. And that was our team name. And we were very excited to work as a team to learn, to meet new people, we, our mentor was great, we loved him, but to mostly have a whole lot of fun. What did you think, Sally? Well, I have to tell you, it was one of the best experiences that I had last year in a really challenging year with COVID. I started studying accessibility last August when I met Ms. Sumner Davenport at one of her um, meetup camps and I was hooked. And then she told us about Air Rally and I wanted to be on her team, but it was full because everybody wanted to be on <laughs> Sumner's team. So I entered alone and I was partnered with two incredible young ladies from Texas. We called ourselves a digital diversity divas. And though I didn't have a lot of experience, we worked really well together and I capitalized on their skills, as you mentioned. And um, we, believe it or not, won third place. So I'm just here to encourage you to just have fun and just learn all you can. And as long as you do what you love and follow your heart, what you're doing, being here at Air Rally and making a difference, only great things can happen. I agree. I agree. 
you have an opportunity when you work with this air rally this year, not only working with a company, an NPO, a client who maybe doesn't know enough about accessibility and you get to be the person that brings them that information, working with a team of people where you can bring your strengths to the table and learn from people who bring their strengths to the table. So together you can create a more accessible internet. And it's just more than anything, this learning experience is a lot of fun, meeting people from around the globe. So I encourage you to jump in, have a good time, show up for the trainings, show up for any of the events that are announced, meet people, interact, ask questions of your mentor. And when we have the judges night, ask questions. What are they looking for? What do you need to understand? Have a great time making this opportunity the best ever for yourself. Learn and enjoy while you're learning. Do and enjoy while you're teaching others. What do you think, Sally? Anything I left out? I totally agree with you. And as new core mentors for this year, I just want to give a shout out to my mentor from last year, Heron Henry, who's back as a mentor this year. And one of my teammates is back too. She entered alone. So I know she's going to end up on a fabulous team. And I'm just excited just to see all these new accessible websites that are going to be coming out and just the teachings and the new friendships, just like Sumner and I in this past year. She's not only my mentor, she's now my really good friend too. And that's true. It's a friendship that started because of the air rally and it's going to continue forever. We've already decided that. Yes. So we, we really encourage you to have a good time. We appreciate that you're here. We're excited for what's next. So I don't really know how to end this. Sally, what do you have for closing words? Good luck. Have a great time, and we can't wait to meet our team that we're going to mentor. Yay, that's true. That's true. Yes. Okay, onward. Nobility Accessibility Internet Rally 2021. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to Nobility Accessibility Internet Rally. So much. We liked it so much. We wanted to watch it again. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Sally and Sumner. <laughs> so we just want to make sure that we take a brief moment, um, even though we should take probably this whole hour, but just very, very briefly, we need to say thank you to the Heart of Air, which is our volunteers. Um, of course, we have the nobility staff constantly working um, in the background, making sure everything's set up. But without these people in this the next couple of slides, um, air really does not happen. So we need to say thank you to you all. Um, unfortunately, we do not have the time to name you all out loud. So again, please go to that digital program. If somebody could be so kind as to put it back in the chat for me as I click through these next couple of slides. So we have our advisory board members. Um, these people have been instrumental in helping us secure sponsors, uh, helping with team recruiting, making sure we have enough mentors and judges, uh, and just overall making sure uh, everything's kind of been taken care of, thinking of things that we may have forgotten, uh, and helping us come up with some solutions. So we thank our advisory board so much. Um, I know they have been absolutely instrumental for me in running this event this year. So thank you, advisory board. Next, we want to thank our team mentors. We have so many team mentors this year. We were just absolutely floored um, and we were very excited. We had so many new team mentors this year. So again, we want to say thank you because you are going to be the ones to help guide and provide assistance to your teams uh, to make sure that they can provide a successful uh, website for those clients. And then lastly, you can't have a competition without some judges, uh, and we would not have a good competition without these wonderful judges who have been, uh, again, experts in their field. These are our experienced judges. They have been with us uh, in years past, so we know we are in good hands in terms of looking at those websites and, and determining our future winners. So thank you, judges. And again, please go to that um, digital program that we listed earlier. We'll make sure that it's in the chat again. Uh, thank you. And Erica. All right, it is time for another door prize. Um, and I'm so excited for this door prize because 
no one got this correct as far as I could tell. So it's gonna be a total surprise for everyone. We have um, accessible Rubik's cubes. So um, you, there's an image of it on the slide, but what that looks like, it's a Rubik's cube with um, the colors on each side, but there's also a um, raised plastic marker. Um, that corresponds to each side. So uh, for example, all of the green squares have a circle on them, all of the yellow squares have dots on them, and the orange squares have an X on them from the side we can view. So you don't need um, vision to use this Rubik's Cube. And as you will find out in your upcoming trainings, um, this is a great and very fun way so fun in the spirit of air where we make accessibility fun, really great way to demonstrate the uh, WCAG criterion of not using color as a sole indicator. Um, so this will be the other option. If you don't want a t-shirt, you can get a Rubik's cube and who doesn't want an accessible Rubik's cube. So I am going to go back to our wheel of names. So it is going to move again. Um, I don't think they should up. have to choose. Hmm? I don't think they should have to choose. I think you should just give them both. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So you get both. You get both. Um, good call, Sharon. <laughs> um, yes, you got a champagne. People are giving double prizes. I'm going to share my screen here. Bring back the wheel of names. All right, so here are the names. I'm going to go back to full screen. I'm going to click and it's spinning around, spinning around. Is it going to land on? We have Andy O is our winner. Andy, you're going to get a Rubik's Cube and a shirt. So I'm going to be in touch with you after our, um, after our kickoff event and um, get in touch with you how about about how to give you your prizes there we go you muted there we go all right so i was told my my volume levels were a little low hopefully this is a little better for everybody uh, just let me know in the chat if you still need me to fix that so on to the good stuff. It's time to meet our competition. That way we can put you uh, into your breakout rooms and get you working. So we're going to kind of, I don't want to say fly through these, but we are going to give brief descriptions of each of our MPOs and letting them know their teams. Uh, again, we didn't get a chance to put the full NPO descriptions in the digital program yet, but we will make sure that gets added. So that way everybody has a chance to go back through uh, and read that information because we want to make sure everybody gets to, to learn about each other as we start this journey together. So we're going to start with the Dutch Coalition on Disability and Development. Uh, this is a great organization that promotes disability inclusion and in international development cooperation through lobbying, linking, and learning. So this is a group that has several different networks involved, uh, and they believe in the power of inclusion. Change is needed, and we are here for everyone who wants to make inclusion happen. And the team assigned to the Dutch Coalition on Disability and Development is Indy Team One. So we have your names displayed here and you will see those names uh, on that digital program. Great, so one of the things that I want to let everyone know, if we, as we are going through the teams, if you do not see your name listed, do not panic. Don't panic. At the very end, before we disperse everyone into the breakout rooms, we will have the opportunity to reach out to those individuals that have not been matched with a team. So again, don't see your name, don't panic. It's gonna be okay. So let's go into Ada Lovelace. So starting with a need for empowering women and children, um, Ada Lovelace formed their, their organization to provide sensible solutions. Um, we have consistently grown since then, all thanks to the helping hands of this amazing community. We focus on making the maximum positive effort for our community, our members and volunteers provide the momentum that helps us affect change. Using data-driven models, we provide solutions that make a long-lasting difference. So that is Ada Lovelace and the Indie team for that is 
Uh, this one is HCL Technologies. Again, if you want to refer back to the list of names and find your name and the team you are assigned to, we are going to be dropping the link in the chat in just one moment. All right, so next. All right, uh, we have the LBJ Museum in San Marcos, um, and that is dedicated, of course, to the 36th President of the United States, uh, and they encourage their visitors in the exploration of the landmark Great Society legislation, uh, both now in his student and early teaching experiences that have shaped his commitments and impact of his presidency on our lives today. And uh, the LBJ Museum will be teamed with Indy Team 3. Uh, so again, check that program if, you, if you're not sure if your name is listed on there. Next, we have the Alfano Arts in Medicine Studio. And what they do is they embrace the healing power of art. Um, their current home is in the Division of Pediatric Hematology, Oncology, and, St and Stem Cell Transplantation at Columbia University Urban Medical Center. This is amazing. I mean, we're only at number three, Jay. These are incredible organizations. And the Indy team number four for that is listed here. Let's go to the next one. All right, we have CAS. CO Africa. This is a nonprofit organization with the goal to reduce out of school children by 30% in 2030. Um, so really designed to promote rural education. And they will be paired with Indy Team 5. Oh, and Mariela is muted. <laughs> So then we have the Borderland Rainbow Center. Our mission is to create a community space in which lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, questioning and intersex people and their allies can heal, grow and empower themselves and other. One of the things we want to point out about the Borderland Rainbow Center is that it is a substance-free space governed and run according to ethically sound standards and research practice. Really interesting stuff happening there. And the indie team for that is in the team six. All right, and um, I believe we have a typo on the slides. So you're gonna, you'll are gonna, you probably see Indie Team 6 again, and it's supposed to be a different set of people. Uh, and we will make sure that we um, notify you of that when we go into the breakout room. So our next one is Neil Hatter. Um, this is really an interesting one. This is an anthropology professor um, who actually is looking to convert all of his wonderful lectures and material and turn it into an open web uh, model of inclusive design. So we're really excited to see what happens with that. Uh, and it should say Team 7, which is a whole different set of people. Um, I'm going to try and read off my list really quick here. I'm sorry. So Peter, uh, Veronica, Michael, and David. I know that's not super helpful right now, but if any of you are there, you are actually Team 7 and not the people we just saw in Team 6. So apologies for those typos. Uh, but when we get you in the breakout rooms, you'll be sorted. Then we have the Triumph Foundation and their mission is to help children, adults and veterans with spinal cord injuries and disorders to triumph over their disability and to inspire them to keep moving forward, forward with their lives by pushing themselves to get better every day. And the indie team for that is indie team number eight. All right. Uh, next, we have brain education strategies, and they provide low cost tools and solutions to help those with brain injury and other cognitive challenges build confidence and live a more independent life. And they will be teamed up with Indie Team 9. Um, this is probably, I think, at least in my knowledge, probably some of the largest number of uh, individual registrants we've had. Um, so it was super exciting to, to be able to pair up so many different people. 
Then we have user experience Akron, and that is a nonprofit user experience community in Northeast Ohio, primarily serving members from Akron, Canton, Youngstown, and Kent. If I am saying the names of those cities wrong, I apologize, New Yorker. Um, but they offer in-person events and online um, events covering all aspects of user experience. Really excited to see what this team puts together. And the indie team for that is done. All right, let's go to user zoom outs. Yep, and that's who's gonna be paired with uh, Akron. So next we have Chica's Mom. Uh, this is an organization, <clears throat> excuse me, that supports Latina women on a variety of socioeconomic issues related to quality, justice, and community support. And they will be paired up with UX San Antonio. Then we have the Anika Foundation, which was established in 2009 as a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Their mission is to promote health equity, civic engagement, and economic empowerment. Ooh, okay, Anika Foundation, I see you. And the indie team for that is listed. Next. All right, we have Access Gallery. This is an inclusive nonprofit organization that engages the community by opening its doors to creative, educational, and economic opportunities for people with disabilities to access, experience, and benefit from the arts. And they will be paired up. I promise I did not do this on purpose, but maybe I did. A for Access <laughs> with the University of Texas at Austin students. And next we have Casa Marianela. I love that name. I wonder why. <laughs> but Casa Marianela ESL and Casa Marianela welcomes displaced immigrants and promotes self sufficiency by providing shelter and support services. Um, their ultimate vision is that all immigrants arriving in Austin have safe housing and access to the services that they need to be to be successful. And the indie team for that is listed. It's breaking B access D. I love it. It's cute. It's wonderful. Thank you, UTA. All right, our next one is Atlanta Jews of Color Council. Uh, this is a grassroots Jewish organization doing radical equality work on the ground in and around Atlanta. Uh, this is a great organization, multi-generational, women-owned nonprofit, uh, providing regional nuanced educational training and consultancy in intersectional social justice and radical uh, literacy from a unique vantage point. And you keep they saying will radical. It's it's racial. Oh, I'm so sorry. My apologies, Rachel. Uh, and they will be paired up with the Fixture Upfers. Uh, again, one of our um, amazing uh, University of Texas Austin teams. Although I guess racial justice in the U.S. is kind of radical. Radical. See, it's subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, so then we have the Austin Cooperative Business Association. The ACBA is dedicated to growing and strengthening the Austin area cooperative community through increased consumer knowledge, inter-cooperative support and advocacy to make it easier to start and expand cooperatives. This is cool. This is, I mean, they're all cool, but this is cool. <laughs> And then that is going to be led by Jay. The best accessibility name I can think of because I love s'mores. <laughs> so s'more accessibility, just, oh, I loved it. If, if we gave team name, if we gave awards for team names, you automatically win to me. So <laughs> I wonder yes. if does s'more, does that, stand for, does that stand for something else? What does it it's stand actually for? the it's the team it's members the team's initials. initials. Look, it's look at the order. It's the team's initials. Uh, Ovio. <laughs> Love it. All right. Then um is that me or you, Jay? Oh, I'll take it. This is Paths to Literacy. Um, this is a uh website that provides uh 
resources for students who are blind or visually impaired, uh, and it includes resources for families, teachers, service providers, including instructional strategies, training events, and blogs. Uh, we are super excited about this one. This is Ally allies for access or accessibility. Um, and this is a team uh, primarily of high school students that are doing this because they really wanna make sure that they have accessible materials for those students. So we're super excited to have them join us this year. Wow, that is very cool. All right, so this is our summary of the matches. Again, make sure that you check out that link uh, to make sure you see your team names. And again, we apologize for, for Team 7 mix-up. We'll make sure, I think we've put it in chat a couple times, and we'll make sure you get sorted out in the breakout rooms as appropriate. Um, we just want to touch on a couple of things before we wrap up this evening. You do have some checkpoints, uh, so make sure you start getting your calendars so when we put you in your breakout rooms, you guys are ready to go. We have our NPO training that will be live. We have two options. The first one is in the morning, and then the second one will be in the afternoon. You should have gotten some emails through uh, us about the Eventbrite links. We'll have our live web developer trainings happening on September 6th. 15th and 16th, both of those will be at 9 a.m. Um, and that is a two-part training. Now, both of those uh, sets of training will be available uh, recorded if you cannot attend, uh, and then you'll have access to those through our learning center, and we'll be making sure that you get information on that. Uh, we have our rally checkpoint. So some of you may know this as Meet the Judges Night, but we decided to make it a little more uh, about the rally and about you. And of course, we're going to have some judges on hand too, but we're, we're planning a fun night of kind of testing your accessibility knowledge that you've been gaining over the past couple of weeks as well. So we, we have some fun uh, games and, and things in store for you on that one. So hopefully you'll all be able to attend virtually. And of course, the big day is the final countdown and site submission, and that will be on November 7th. Uh, and then you always need a good celebration after all the hard work. So we will have our Air Awards ceremony on January 6th, uh, and we hope you will all be able to make it as well. Oh, apparently we have a mispronunciation or misspelling on the slide, so we will fix some of those. All right, take it away, Mariella. Oh, so wait a minute. What about what about Yom Kippur? Oh, oh, did we have something about Yom Kippur in here? Meryl says, "What's what's happening on the 16th? Oh, it's uh, one of the tra the web trainings, web development teams. Oh, those are all they they're all um, recorded. recorded anyway, right? So if you can't come live, you can always come. And, um, and I don't know about not being very many Jewish people because don't we have a whole, uh, don't we have a whole nonprofit that's just dedicated to that? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is exciting. You know, the thing about the judges happy hour, I think the reason they called it the judges happy hour is because the judges always hoped that people would show up and buy them beers to try to curry favor with them, you know, but since that's... <laughs> I love that. I, love I, just, that. I know. They would introduce themselves and say, I'm so-and-so, I'm a judge, and my favorite beer is this one. <laughs> so just to clarify, the trainings on the 15th and 16th are, it is a two-part training. So part one will be on Wednesday, and then part two will be on Thursday. And of course, if you can't make it, we understand everybody's schedules. Um, are. It's hard to match good time, you know, a good time for everybody's time zone. Uh, so they will be recorded. And yes, it will be about an hour long. Uh, volunteers, uh, if you um, for the MPO training, if you can make it, if you are the the um, web teams are invited to go to the MPOs if they would like to. Same thing, MPOs, you are welcome to attend the web development training. So if you want to go to both, you are free to, uh, but you don't have to. All right. All right. Mariella. So I will go ahead and make an announcement. So the background here has changed. We are no longer doing the rocket ship with the baby blue background. This is a plain white background. And what you are seeing is just really a banner. We are having a new series of events starting with the very first one called the Accessibility Hours. And September is Deaf Awareness Month. Now, one of the things that some of you may know about me and others may not is that I have a hearing disability. I use 
something called a cochlear implant. And if there is one thing that I'm very passionate about is making sure that we caption content as often as possible. So if you want to stay committed to being an ally for people with hearing disabilities, we will be having a workshop on September 21st, so towards the end of this month. And it is going to be about learning how to create different caption content for Deaf Awareness Month. If you are interested in that, if you know how to do that, fantastic. Pat yourself on the back. You're an ally in action. But if you're someone that's just creating content on social media and you're not sure how to make those 5, 10, 15 second reels accessible, this is going to be the workshop for you. I'm going to be talking with Sharon tomorrow to finalize some details for that. But I am really, really excited about this. So I encourage all of you to sign up. The information for that is www.bit.ly slash ally. Um, so, so this is something really important that I've discovered not a lot of people know, but you probably have seen hashtag A11Y. And what that, you're probably like, why are there two, why is there an 11 in ally? And the reason for that is that accessibility is 11 letters. And so in order to shorten the accessibility, we use a one, one, Y. And that's where accessibility comes, the accessibility words come from in a one, one, Y. So join us for the accessibility hours. I also encourage all of you to sign up for our newsletter. It gets sent out every Wednesday before end of day. And in there, we share all of our information for the week, articles that we've written, things that we're doing, things that are happening in the accessibility space. You can stay in the know with Nobility. And we are going to be sharing the link for that. It's already in the chat. So that is bit.ly slash Nobility News. I look forward to seeing you subscribe to our newsletter. And then next, we have reminder, if you have liked what you have seen today, make sure that you go online and you use the hashtag air2021. I am going to be looking and reading through all of those after today's meeting. So make sure that you share the energy, the passion, the fun by using the hashtag air 2021 our primary platforms are going to be twitter and linkedin so make sure that you stay connected with us there and then we are going to have the incredible erica join us i put my champagne and glass down just in time it's perfect um all right so i am back for another door prize um so just heads up that does mean another spinning wheel but before we get to the wheel of names, um, I think this is the best picture yet. Yes. Um, yes. We have this dubbed is the Maria this image Tricks. Rubikella. Um, our model came up with that name. And in this image, we have uh, someone wearing the purple nobility shirt. Um, but there is an image of a Rubik's cube over their face. And with name Rubikella, I'm going to leave you to guess who that might be. Um, but this is perfect because our winners will get both the Rubik's cube and the shirt. So if you wish to, you know, do your own Rubikella mm -hmm. selfie at home, you could do that once you get your prizes. Oh, and I love this that, plan. We would love to have that picture. Um, so just just for our winners, for for uh, Amy and Andy, and for our winner who's um, going to be decided very soon. Um, hint, hint. We would love to have that. So let me go back to our names over here. I'm going to go back to full screen for a dramatic effect. It's going to let me do that. Oh, good grief. There we go. All right. So we are back on our multicolored wheel of names. I'm about to click, about to start moving. It's moving. It's spinning. Whee! It's going to be, thank you, Sharon, for the sound effects. We have <laughs> Carmina Rosso. Congratulations, Carmina. Um, I am going to be in touch with you after our uh, kickoff event um, for your t-shirt and Rubik's cube needs. And um, we hope to get that selfie.
You want to take us home, Mariella? Yes, let's go to the finish line. So we want to give a huge thank you again to the sponsors that have made today's events possible. We want to once again thank the Cultural Arts City of Austin Economic Development. Visa, Visa came through at the last minute. We are so, so thankful for you. We have the Big History Project, um, which was one of our very first sponsors for today's event. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. We also have Rev, Adobe, Sendesk, and Monkey Boy. Again, if you want to be a part of the team making this happen, if you love this energy, want to see more events like this, go ahead and tell others about us. Tell others about the incredible things that are happening here at Nobility. Spread the word about the incredible things happening here. And if you've got some dinero and you want to share that with us so that we can continue to create events like this, reach out to Cheryl Pearson at Cheryl at Nobility.org.